In the heart of County Wexford stands a hidden gem of Irish history, Johnstown Castle, a breathtaking Gothic fortress surrounded by magnificent gardens, not only tells the story of aristocratic grandeur but also preserves Ireland's agricultural heritage. Today, it's home to the Irish Agricultural Museum, which showcases the farming traditions that shaped this nation. But the story of Johnstown Castle goes far deeper than its agricultural collection. From Norman invaders and rebellious families to Gothic architecture and modern-day conservation, Johnstown Castle is a symbol of resilience through centuries of change. Join us as we uncover the secrets of Ireland's forgotten fortress. Our journey begins in the 12th century, when the lands of Johnstown Castle were first granted to the de Prendergast family after the Anglo-Norman invasion of Ireland in 1169. This fertile land, tucked away in Wexford, was of great strategic importance to the Normans. Though the first fortifications were likely modest and built for defence, the groundwork was laid for what would become one of the most significant estates in the region. By the late 15th century, the land came under the control of the Esmond family, whose story is interwoven with Ireland's fight for independence. The Esmond family held Johnstown Castle through times of great political turmoil. Sir Thomas Esmond was a notable figure in the Irish Confederate Wars, a series of conflicts between Irish Catholics and the Protestant forces of the English Crown. But like many Irish families who sided with Catholic forces, the Esmonds faced severe consequences.
After the brutal campaign of Oliver Cromwell in 1649, the Esmonds lost their ancestral home. The castle and its lands were seized, a tragic blow to a family with deep roots in Irish Catholicism. The Esmond family's fall from grace marks just one chapter in the long-storied history of Johnstown Castle, but the story didn't end there. A new era for Johnstown began in 1692, when the Grogan family came into possession of the estate. Cornelius Grogan, the head of the family, made his mark not only as a wealthy landowner, but as a rebel during the Irish Rebellion of 1798. His role in the uprising would ultimately cost him his life. After Cornelius Grogan was executed for treason, the family faced a period of uncertainty. However, under the leadership of Hamilton Knox Grogan Morgan, the estate flourished. It was Hamilton who commissioned the stunning Gothic revival redesign of Johnstown Castle, turning it into the architectural masterpiece we see today. Johnstown Castle's transformation into a Gothic revival wonder in the mid-19th century was a bold statement of wealth and power. The pointed arches, decorative stonework and majestic towers evoked the grand castles of medieval Europe, while incorporating the elegance of Victorian design. The Grogan Morgan family wanted a home that showcased their influence in a rapidly changing Ireland. They built more than a castle, they created a symbol of resilience and splendor, one that continues to stand as an iconic part of Ireland's architectural heritage. Surrounding Johnstown Castle are its lush sprawling gardens, a masterpiece of Victorian landscaping. Designed by Daniel Robertson, the mind behind the famous Powers Court Gardens, these grounds offer an oasis of tranquility. The gardens feature rolling lawns, serene lakes, and one of Ireland's oldest walled gardens. For generations, these gardens served not only as a retreat for the elite, but also as a symbol of the estate's prosperity. Next time you're in Wexford, take the time to visit Johnstown Castle, explore its past and step into the heart of Ireland's forgotten fortress. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more historical explorations of Ireland's most fascinating landmarks.